For at TV, the world is thinking. Now, why did I call this the climate of extremes? Very simple. In Washington, as you know, we polarize issues. In the issue of global warming, it seems either you are on the talk show line in the afternoon and you say there is no such thing as climate change, or you say it's the end of the world. And this applies to both sides of the issue. I'd like to talk about how we, the, the facts appear to not matter. Things go unchallenged in the climate of extremes. People accept the strangest things without really fact-checking. And I'd like to begin on May 22nd, 2007, The Larry King Show. Uh, this is one exchange that lasted only a mere few minutes, uh, if we could. There we go. Larry King Live uh, on 2007. One exchange that lasted only a mere few minutes and contained an incredible number of unfactual statements in it. It's between the vice president, an unidentified woman calls and says, Vice President Gore, what issues caused by climate change globally are likely to affect the United States in the next 10 years? Vice President responds, the direct impacts on the U.S. have already begun. Today, 49% of America is in conditions of drought or near drought. So the implication is that global warming is increasing drought in the United States. Fine. This statement went completely unchallenged. How hard is it to check? It turns out it's six mouse clicks away. On the upper uh, graph here is the percent of the United States experiencing drought conditions. This is something called the Palmer Drought Severity Index. It's a very, very common metric of climate uh, that's been used for literally a half a century. Uh, and on the bottom are the Northern Hemisphere temperature departures from average from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, of which, by the way, I am a member and a rather active one. Uh, what you see here, if you look on the y-axis, here's the 49% that Gore was talking about. Now, is there any relationship between this and global warming? You don't have to waste your time running Excel on this because the correlation is obviously zero. Simple fact, not checked. Or we could look at the longer-term climate history of the Pacific Southwest, which is one of the places we really care about drought. The Energy Secretary, Mr. Su, who is, has a Nobel Prize in particle physics, which really is somewhat not related to climatology, uh, said recently that global warming will destroy agriculture in California and cause the loss of the major cities in California. This is absurd. But... Uh, the reason he said that is because of stories about major drought in the Pacific Southwest and the Colorado River system. And in fact, if we take a look at the history of Colorado River stream flow as measured by tree rings and other kinds of fossils, uh, this is by Dave Miko in 2007. Here's the, uh, the more recent drought, and you can see that it is nothing compared to what we have seen, that's lowest in the current drought, Nothing compared to what we saw here uh, in the 12th century. This thing lasted 60 years. So to say that there's any signal of warming in this record, which would begin somewhere around 1900, is absurd. 